Hey guys, we are finally doing it. I'm making homemade squishies. So you, you might not know what this is. It's called foam it. It's two different materials, A and B, and you mix them together and you pour it into a mold and you let it sit for two hours. Apparently it turns into like a squishy foam and then you can make your own homemade squishies with this. So this foam has a lot of danger warnings on it. I have gotten myself goggles, a mask, and long gloves. So I'm hoping I don't injure myself. And we're gonna just like attempt this. I've never done it. We'll see how it goes. Okay, so this is the box of liquid foam. It has a ton of warnings on the back. Danger causes skin irritation. Warning causes eye irritation. Wear protective gloves. Wear long sleeves. Get first aid attention. Help me, I'm scared. The box didn't say that one I did. Opening up the box and taking out both parts, A and B. There's also another warning in there, danger. And here are the directions that I really should have read. I saw one to one and thought I was good. No, I was not good. Thank you for asking. Bringing out our molds that we have. So I have a bunch of different options. This will be a pizza. These will be cupcakes. Here are some bunnies. They're super cute and I thought they'd be great squishies. Here's some popsicles and hearts. I have a ton of protective equipment because I am scarred from the time I got acrylic spray in my left eye. Starting off with everything I did wrong and everything you should not do, I opened up A and B and I got out my cup. I mix together an even amount of A and B. Do not put an even amount of A and B. You can see I'm pouring into my molds, I'm mixing more, I'm pouring more into some molds, and I'm thinking everything's fine. I was actually thinking in my head, wow, I made this out to be so much harder and scarier than it was, and I had no idea. I had no idea what I was getting myself into. So I'm here done pouring them and I'm so excited waiting for these to dry. You have to wait a full two hours. Oh no, I think I did something wrong. Oh no. What the heck? I thought you were supposed to pour half and half. Did I do it wrong? <laughs> <laughs> the bunnies. No, not the bunnies. Okay, so this has been a complete and total disaster. Sometimes these videos go well. I would say like the majority of my videos go well, but every once in a while, I just get a complete, total disaster. This feels as hard as concrete and it's not coming out. Like, no chance. I had my dad try to like remove it. Zero percent chance we're getting this out. I've done several things wrong here. I think I've made every single mistake you could possibly make. So apparently you're supposed to pour two parts of the B and one part of the A. I put one to one, so I put even amounts of A and B, and that's why these are literally rocks. I found this squishy tutorial on Fomit's website after the fact, just a little too late. On the bright side, if I ever wanted to like paint these, I guess I have a nice figurine cupcake. I have destroyed all of the molds that we have. The only thing we really have left are maybe some hearts and some cupcakes. So I'm gonna attempt this again and see if I can fix this video. All right, take two. So this time I'm pouring double the amount of B versus A. I'm mixing it together and then I'm pouring it into the molds that I have not yet destroyed. It should be noted, if you haven't already noted it, you should not be using anything but a silicone mold with this foam it stuff. The hearts were actually remarkably hard to remove even though they were foam. After two hours had passed, I was able to remove the cupcakes and the hearts from their molds. <sighs> they squish. So let's paint them. Because some of the squishies were a little messed up, I took out a knife and I decided to cut off any of the pieces that were kind of ripped, honestly, because of the process of taking them out of those molds. I did actually already purchase myself some more silicone molds so that I can do this again and hopefully do it better. Although I'm not quite sure how I could do it any worse since my squishies turned out to be cement. But I do seriously think that I would have a much more fun time if I had more silicone molds and actually knew what I was doing. 
Now that the squishies are prepped, I'm gonna start with the heart. I'm taking out my tacky glue and it's a total wreck. It's time I actually clean this tacky glue up. I'm just removing that giant chunk. And we are actually going to glue together the two parts of the heart. We're creating a sandwich of sorts. After that has dried, I'm taking out my white matte paint and just giving a good white base coat. I know the heart is kind of already white, but I felt like I wasn't sure how the paint would stick. Taking out my wet palette, and I've actually decided to paint this heart cookie with a rainbow. So at first I wanted to make this a macaroon, but the more I looked at it, the more I thought how thick it was that it really deserved to be an ice cream sandwich. So that's what I'm doing. I'm making a rainbow cookie on the outside, and then in the middle there's going to be a thick chunk of ice cream. After that, I did the back of the cookie, which is actually in reverse rainbow order. After the cookie had dried, I filled the center of the ice cream sandwich with white puffy paint, and I made sure the puffy paint had some texture to it so it could look like ice cream. And here's what the rainbow ice cream sandwich looked like when it was finally done. It is kind of squishy, actually. Considering all of the issues I had leading up until this point, I'm actually pretty happy with the way this ice cream sandwich turned out. Okay, up next we have the first of three cupcakes. I'm giving this a white base coat. Then I'm going in with my aquamarine color and painting the wrapper to the cupcake. I felt like the way the squishy came out, it almost looked like it had a wrapper on it anyway, and I thought it would look more interesting than just having a plain chocolate or plain vanilla cupcake on the side. Now we get to have colors. On the bottom, there were much more holes than on the top. I did my best to fill that in with puffy paint, but it is what it is. After that, I mixed together this tan color. I decided to make this cupcake my favorite cupcake, so my favorite color is aquamarine, and my favorite type of cupcake is a vanilla cake with vanilla icing. I took out my white puffy paint and went in a circular motion. I tried to make it so the icing wasn't perfect because cupcake icing is never perfect. I touched up the sides of the wrapper in any place that I had gotten some cake color on it. And then I took out some sprinkles. These are actually sprinkles that I have from some other squishies that I own and they keep coming off. So I thought it would be perfect to put it on this cupcake. And I think this looks so cute. So this is what it turned out looking like at the end. The squishy is squishy and I really like the colors on this one. Okay, second cupcake of the bunch. Again, I started with a white base coat and then I decided to do pink for the wrapper on this one. It kind of exactly matches the background. So it kind of ends up blending in. The bottom of this cupcake also had a lot of holes. I actually think it's because I didn't mix my mixture enough and the bottom ended up being a little bit hard and crystallized and having holes in it. This second cupcake is also going to be a vanilla flavored cake. My two favorite icing flavors are vanilla and strawberry. So for this one, I decided to take my white puffy paint as well as my pink and kind of like swoosh it around in a circle. I didn't really like the way this looked at the end. So then I decided to mush it around and like make it more mixed together so I could get a pink color. And then I also added red in to make it even brighter because I felt like the pink was a little too dull. And this is the pink color I ended up with for the icing. It also matches the background color, shocker. I went with pink and white sprinkles for this cupcake and this is what the final thing turned out looking like. I like this one, but I still like the blue one a little bit better. Last but not least, we have a giant chunk of chocolate coming out of there. I had to mix together some more brown, and then I used that to paint the whole cupcake. Hear me out, I wanted to just make a fully chocolate cupcake with no wrapper, but as I started painting it, I felt like it didn't look good without a wrapper. But before I added a wrapper, I actually added chocolate icing all over the top. That looks actually really good. Ugh. Delicious. I made the wrapper yellow, which I think makes so much more sense than having it be chocolate. It just, this squishy really looks like it has a wrapper on, so yeah. I added sprinkles that are yellow, white, and green, and this is what the final thing turned out looking like. I really like this cupcake, actually. It might be my second favorite next to the blue one. And here's what all four of the squishies turned out looking like. I know that this video was quite a mess at the beginning, but I'm happy with the way these turned out, and I definitely would like to try making homemade squishies again sometime in the future. Thank you guys so much for watching this video, and if you'd like to check out my other squishy makeovers, you can click the box on the bottom left. Otherwise, I'll see you guys next week. Bye!